you're gonna fuck with me and I'm gonna crash. Great. <laughs> Great boss. The Nurburgring Nordschleife, aka the Green Hell. 20 kilometers of tarmac made up of 154 turns, the world's most dangerous track by night, and by day, the world's coolest public toll road. And today, I'm gonna be driving it for the very first time alongside my friend and fellow YouTuber, Swellia. I'm so scared! <laughs> Swellia and I are both gamers turned IRL race car drivers, so it's safe to say we've collectively done thousands upon thousands of laps around this place on our simulators. But will any of that practice translate to the real thing? Well, we're about to find out in some of the sketchiest track conditions I've ever experienced. But first, let's get warmed up on the German Autobahn. About three minutes out, uh, and we're on the Autobahn, and now we're going to be driving very, very fast. So clench your, clench your cheeks with me, and we'll go, we'll go with, on this ride. Whoa. <laughs> going to that is. And thanks to the wonder of the German Autobahns, we made it to the Nürburgring in almost no time. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. First day on the Nordschleife, huh? the car I've never driven. It should be fun. We've got our first look of the track. The rain subsided a little bit, but it's just enough for it to be pretty greasy and nasty. We're out there in a couple hours, so fingers crossed it dries out, but I don't think it will. <laughs> the sound, even the sound of the curve, I'm like... How does it feel like to, to be here? It it's crazy. I, I, like, I know there was elevation from the sim, but visualizing it now, it's more than the sim. I mean, it's, uh, it it's pretty nice. And yes, that so cool. is a police car. But once our scouting was completed, it was time to pick up our car at the world famous Apex. Okay, so we're in the cockpit. We've got cage, buckets. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the interior is basically stock, right? We Let's see what it sounds like. Performance-wise, I think we have an aftermarket exhaust by the sounds of it, but we definitely have performance race brakes, which will need some time to get up to temperature. And they make sounds like this. Signing your life away, Swilio. Signing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other funny thing about the Nurburgring, right? So if there's an incident, the police are the stewards instead of the FIA. So. As is required to rent this car, we need an instructor to show us around this place for our first lap. This is my instructor, Thomas, and have a listen to this. This year I've done 950 laps. Wow. This year? Yes. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was incredibly nervous for this. Even though I've done races in much faster cars than this in much more competitive environments, the Nürburgring has one major variable. Because all sorts of cars run on this track 24 seven practically, all that rubber turns to grease in conditions like this where it's a bit damp. But don't worry, you'll see what I mean in a minute. And because of the grease, it certainly won't be the last yellow we see either. But also, some areas of the track were just so wet that the water was actually pooling. So I was also trying to do my best to avoid those spots. So this car is very slippery here. Brake here and stay long time outside. So brake a little bit more. This is very slippery here, trust me. Then lift, brake one time here, hard. So open the brake, second brake before we go left. And lay the inside here. Go back on the left side. So now lift, break one time here, 
So open the brake and then we go to the banking. And stay all the time in. So now inside, inside. Back on the left side. Back on the right side. That sharp brake here before we go left. Come in. Yes, now inside. Then short break before we go left. Slippery corner here. So I think if you're going to pinpoint one thing everyone likes about the Nürburgring is just how much elevation there is. It means the car's balance is constantly changing from corner to corner and you constantly have to be on your toes. Couple that with extremely greasy rubber lines and the amount of lines you can take is surprisingly high. It's funny because from the outside the track doesn't even look that way at all. But in reality, it's one of the most treacherous conditions I've ever experienced. And perhaps by a stroke of luck, I survived my first lap at the Nürburgring. Very good. And very, very fast, very fast. Oh, nice. Very fast. <laughs> I'll take it. God, I don't, I just don't trust, trust the traffic like you do. <laughs> yeah. I want to feel it's very, very slippery. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's no temperature either. No. Uh, Even the by the end of the lap, nothing. The tires is cold. How is it? Dude. That is so crazy. It's so slippery and the traffic management is nuts. There's just so many people like, and he just trusts. He says, go, 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 go. And I'm like, no, I don't trust that guy. <laughs> also like the gearbox not being that responsive and like the PC being really intrusive, like it throws me off because I'm used to just fixing the problem myself. And then when this comes into play, I have no idea. I might turn TC off. What? I might turn TC off. Dude, don't. <laughs> like well, I, I almost lost the car like with TC on, barely touching the throttle. Well, I hope you guys come back alive. Thank you. Have fun, boys. But before we hop into some hilarious laps with Swellio, I've got a big announcement to make. This BMW M2 is not the only cool sports car I'm renting this year. Thanks to your guys' votes on the VEX platform, the sponsor of today's video, I'm gonna be renting one of my absolute dream cars for a road trip around Japan. You guys voted for the Mark IV Supra, which is a choice I really could not be happier about. I encourage you guys to get involved on the VEX platform linked in the description so that we can do more crazy stuff like this later in the year. But with that being said, let's get back to the Nürburgring. Let's go slow. <laughs> no, no, no. You ready? Nope. <laughs> so now that my instructor lap is out of the way, I have a few things I want to tick off my list. While Swellio may be an aspiring pro race car driver, he certainly isn't a pro passenger. Dude, wait. No! That's too fast! Here! There's no grime, I promise! <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking crazy? This one I remember being slippery. Oh, it has ABS. Did you feel that? Yeah, I did. Big ABS. <laughs> Dude, you're going too fast. This is not the slippery part. <laughs> I can see you avoiding the shiny line. Yep. <laughs> I want to do it flat, but I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm too nervous to go through here any quicker. Dude, I'm more nervous than you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are. So narrow, even when you're passing cars around the outside like that. But then we caught up to this other Apex owned car, which was driven by YouTuber Jardier. So naturally, the race was on. But while I was focused on driving fast, I had a little birdie in my ears trying to tell me otherwise. Here, he said, wait, break! <laughs> break more! This is the last grab here that you think. This is gonna be a slippery after. <laughs> I think we can say mission accomplished. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> 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 wait, wait! Wait! Wow, that's too fast! <laughs> It's ready more! Wait! <laughs> and once I finally had a moment to focus, I got around Jardia. And with our second task out of the way, there was just one more thing to do. Go grab here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice little car to overtake. Right. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. That's the corner. Wait, patience, patience. There's no grab here. Told you! <laughs> I don't know, 
about you, I feel grip. And plenty of it. <laughs> wait, 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 there's no grip down here. A lot of rubber. <laughs> Every time your hand goes up, it just makes you laugh. I'm not controlling my hand anymore. It just goes. Uh, it has plenty of grip, it's just... Break, 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 it's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're gonna f*** with me and now I'm gonna crash. <laughs> Woohoo! Good job, man. That was alright. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> My head fun. doesn't, <laughs> my voice doesn't, but I trust you, I promise. <laughs> Wanna switch? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> I'm so scared. I was like, How what am you I like doing that? with my life? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to race this 24 hours like that. You don't want to do the 24 hour anymore? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> All right, Swellio now in the driver's seat. This is his second lap. I've just completed my second lap, so. We're gonna see what Swelly can do, but there's no pressure. There's no, no pressure at all. Let's see what I cannot do. <laughs> <laughs> right, Swelly on the driver's seat. From Sim to Real, Swelly Almeida makes a Sim debut at the Bandit Bandit Game. <laughs> Never had so little grip in the Sim ever. <laughs> So this being the last lap before the track closed, naturally this is when the track will be the darkest, the coldest, and it also happened to be the wettest. Now I trust Swellio at least a little bit, but then after seeing an omen like this, I was not feeling super confident. And judging by the amount of times we got overtaken right after that, I don't think Swellio was feeling super confident either. Like a quick car is going I'm gonna try to keep up with them at least. <laughs> Good references. <laughs> I'm so scared! <laughs> Slippery on exit, remember? Oh, oh, there's the rubber. But once Swelio's confidence started building, my nerves also started building. Break. What's going on? Break. Slippery, slippery, slippery. Woo! <laughs> track is getting darker by the second and we've done a lot of post-processing here so this is what it actually looks like and we can barely see a thing. You really can't tell how wet it is when it's this dark. This, is, this feels like a dream man. I know, I know. The haze, that's crazy. You were driving like that like a few months ago in my place. In the simulator. I know. Now we're doing this here. Like this. Woo! <laughs> last quarter mate, last corner. Push, 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 push. Woo! Not bad, mate. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the lap, I started getting more confidence. And I was like getting bored to the point of like, okay, I'm gonna push more, I'm gonna push more, I'm gonna push more. But I was much slower than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, man. What an experience, man. What an experience. Unforgettable. Unforgettable, man. And the beauty is, anybody can come and do this. Yeah. If you got a driver's license, you have to come come here. Make, Honestly, this feels like a movie. It's a bucket list item checked off, for yeah. sure. So to answer the question, did all that practice on the simulator pay off today? Well, yes and no. On the positive side, I knew every single corner around this track. The simulator was a laser scan, so it was literally down to the millimeter in terms of accuracy. Even the trees and stuff were super accurate and I could use them as reference points around the track. But what wasn't accurate was the conditions of the actual road surface. Now, iRacing rain physics are coming and I cannot wait to try it, but up to this point in the simulator, I have never driven a realistic sim that could actually replicate wet weather driving. Especially when you consider like the rubber line and all this greasiness that you can't really see on the video even. There's just no way to simulate that unless you've driven on a real racetrack before. I honestly think we're not far away from sims being absolutely perfect at even emulating these kind of conditions. But until that day, we're gonna have to just keep practicing on the real thing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out Vex so you guys can be involved in my next video proposal. So with all that being said, I will see you guys on the next one.